What's going on? It's your boy Coach. Here we are at, uh, it looks like Macho's here in Durango, and they got a nacho challenge. So I'm going to take this on. It's like five or six pounds. Um, not sure if I'm going to do it, but I'm going to give it my best. So we took a family vacation up to Durango, and I looked up food challenges in the area, and I came across this Beto challenge at a place called Macho's, and I couldn't really find that much information on it in general, just a few pictures. And it looked like it was maybe on like a big appetizer tray, said it feeds five people. And I thought that's probably um, relatively in my uh, window. If it's, you know, somewhere between five and six pounds of food, I think that's something that's doable. Anything beyond that, probably not. Um, that's just my capacity at this point. So, yeah, that's kind of what my expectation was kind of going into this. Little did I know what was ahead. All right, so here we are ready to take on this massive nacho challenge. It looks very intimidating. I have no idea how I'm going to do on this. This is an enormous amount of food. It supposedly feeds five. I think maybe more, but um, we're going to give this a shot. We'll have a film here in a minute uh, ready on that. So um, just mentally got to prepare and be ready to roll. All right, and there we have it right there. This is a massive tray. No idea what to expect. It's got all kinds of good stuff, cheese chips. It's like some peppers, beans, carne asada. Yeah, we got uh, the whole works here. So we're just gonna, I mean, look at the, the size of this thing, it's massive. All right, it's your boy, Ready to Destroy. Gonna do my best, hope you enjoy. And that's uh, what I was thinking as I started this off. At the same time, I knew there was probably no way I was gonna finish this. I mean, when I picked up the tray, it felt like it was 10 pounds. One of my pet peeves on food challenges in general is that it's like there's this piece where you kind of expect it to be honest, like not deceptive, and this was like a banquet or catering style tray, and like I would say that this could probably feed 10 to 12, you know, normal people is what I would expect, and so um, it's a little bit um, frustrating or maybe disappointing um, when I knew there's just no way I'm going to finish this and it's something that is going to test me in terms of how much capacity I have. I wasn't really able to fully enjoy it either because when it's in a tray like this, I wasn't given any utensils or plates, any um, spatulas or anything to pull it out. So I quickly made the decision, you know what, I'm just going to smash it up. I'm going to shove it in my mouth and just swallow as much down as I possibly can. Flavor and texture just kind of meshed up. Not the most enjoyable thing, but sometimes you just gotta grind. Go. Oh. So that was basically my mentality at this point. Is just, you know, truck away. It's all work. You know, I had some encouragement <clears throat> from those around me along the way. A couple of people spectating. Um, you know, I had my music in to keep me distracted really it was like not the best of experience it was like just get one bite at a time as much as you can i'm just kind of piling it up in you know this heap of a mound and trying to you know do the old concept of you know how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time that was kind of my strategy is just you know it's all going to taste the same just kind of keep going as long as you can if i finish it i would if you know probably be ecstatic at the same time i was not expecting to i was just like my stomach capacity cannot put this much food in it at this point. I'm not trained to do this. I'm still working my way up. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see that it's just like, it's so much. For 15 minutes in, it's hard because flavor fatigue kicks in usually about 10 minutes. Really just got to power through. If you hit the wall, you gotta go past. And really, you know, taking each bite at this point is kind of painful. I didn't want to. I could just taste that same flavor. And unfortunately for me, you know, the next actually 12 hours, I was burping up this taste. It was disgusting. Um, I definitely won't be eating these nachos again. They were pretty heavy. Um, out of the gate, they were pretty good. Um, just not something I'm accustomed to. You know, the refried beans, probably made in lard, things like that. A lot of cheese. Um, a lot of sour cream, things I just generally don't do. I think it would have been different had I had some of this stuff on the side, you know, to take it as I went. 
a little more salsa maybe. I really like salsa and a little bit of spice. I did get through all the peppers, which I was happy about. A lot of food. It's got to be another three, four pounds. Could just get that beer. Sweat. Had this been maybe like a pound left, I probably could have pushed it and just made myself go through it. But um, I knew it was, like I said, about three pounds left. There was no way. I was just kind of like, you know what? Going to take the last couple bites, call it a day, do my best. I was happy with how far I got. So not, not upset, just um, a little disappointed that the expectation was to be a lot less than this. And whatever it is what it is, it just makes me better. And uh, that's the only way to push All right. myself. There. All right. There. Turn left. There's absolutely no way I'm going to finish this. It's So when I look back on this challenge, I think there was a number of things I could have done differently. Um, really doesn't matter, but it's given me inspiration to maybe do this on my own. Um, measure out some of the chips, beans, uh, meat, things like that. Try my own challenge at home, which I may do, you know, further into my adventure. Um, but yeah, like I'm not upset about it. At the same time, I just didn't expect it to be this massive. And I think that's what makes this difficult is with any food challenge, you kind of expect consistency in order to, um, you know, keep it uniform, you know, just across the audience or the population that you're targeting. So something like this, you know, I wouldn't expect very many people to finish this. This is 100% for the professionals. I wouldn't expect any amateur eater to come in and take this down especially in like a catering style tray like this, like this was just way beyond what I expected. And it's not a bad thing, just something that, you know, I can um, look back and say, you know, this made me better for whatever challenges to come ahead. So I'm going to leave it at that, um, finish the video and uh, thanks for watching. boys in the hurt box. going to rest, cover. And give it a go again at something else this Wednesday. So uh, tune in for the next video. Take care.